back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brooke, and I am the CEO of Rosie Boutique, but I'm also going to be a freshman at IU. Um, so basically, I'm doing a lot of personal, but lifestyle, business-related videos, and a little bit of everything. Um, so make sure to give me a subscribe and a like and a comment below. I'd love to get to know you, and I'd love to have you part of the family. But in today's video, it's going to be a back-to-school themed video. So today's video is a back-to-school supplies haul for college. So um, really high school and college back-to-school supplies are pretty similar. So this is applicable for high schoolers as well. Um, with the pandemic going on, things are so different. So I would say that school supplies may not be as necessary as they normally would just because I think most things are going to be online. So anyway, we're going to get into the school supplies haul that I have for my classes and for my schedule at IU. I'm super excited to show you guys. I have, I have, I don't know why I've always loved um, school supplies and going school shopping and stuff. I always wanted to film one of these videos but I never have. So it's kind of like a childhood thing that I've watched these all my life and now I'm filming one. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hopefully that you can get some tips from these of what you need um, if you haven't already bought your stuff but let's get into it okay so I have a very big bag right here filled with stuff that I bought everything that I bought for school supplies is from Target as you know Target has all of these school supplies that you need I think it's a pretty pretty much a go-to for most people so everything I bought is from Target and I'm sure it's still available at your local Target actually the first thing I have is not from Target so these are masks. As you know, which is really weird, at least for college, we're gonna always have to have masks on in any building. So I just have a couple of masks here. It's weird to say that this is now a school supplies part of part of the hall, um, that we're wearing masks now, but these are super cute. They're just these tie-dye masks, and they cover your nose. They do a very good job, and I love them, and they're super soft. Um, I know some masks, like you kind of feel like you're being suffocated, but those are pretty good. Um, they're breathable, but they also do a good job at keeping you safe, and um, they cover your nose and your mouth. So, I have these. I'm sure that you can get these from Amazon. You can get them from most stores now. A lot of them have them. Might be coming to Rosie Boutique soon, um, so keep up with us, but definitely masks. Okay, next, this is kind of optional. So I take all of my notes on my computer and I don't have my computer with me, but obviously that is an essential school um, supply. So I have a MacBook Pro. I think a lot of people use Apple, but um, Dell and the other brands are great. So I have a Mac, um, but I use that every single day for school. I take all my notes on there, but I also really like writing my notes down. I like tangible paper and seeing my notes, highlighting, pens, the whole shebang. So I bought these notebooks. These are 79 cents from Target. Um, normally I get a five subject notebook and just do all my classes in there, but my dad suggested that getting a really cheap notebook just for every class would be easier so it would keep me more organized. I also like to keep things simple, so I bought the same color notebook for each class. So I only have five classes this year and all of these notebooks are just this pretty hot pink color, um, but they're all, I wanna say these are all college ruled. Yeah, they're all college ruled. I really like college ruled. Um, notebook paper and they're not very thick either so it's not it doesn't take up a ton of room and it's it's perfect for all of your classes so got these next I have I think I bought this a while ago and I'm not sure if I'll necessarily use this but it's just a one subject notebook kind of like the ones I just showed you um, but this is the college world five star one subject notebook but it also comes with pockets and dividers which I really like um, so it also keeps you organized in that way and it has this cover so your um, like the spiral doesn't get caught on stuff so I've always been one to buy things like this so they don't get caught if you guys can tell I really like the color pink um, but I bought these folders from Target as well I think I bought one for every class I think I bought five or six um, but they're these just these basic pink folders. They are pocket folders, so they look like this on the inside. And they also have, um, I forget what these are called. It's like a little insert for three ring um, hole punched paper. <laughs> so those will go in here, it keeps you organized. I'm gonna have a label on, on all of these for each class. Um, but I think folders are great. This year, normally I get a binder, but this year I didn't. And I usually get a um, Eucordian folder I think that's what it's called um, I've used those all throughout high school and even in middle school and I loved them but this year just like with the flexibility and of living at um, IU and being in college it's a little bit different but I would definitely recommend a Eucordian folder or a binder um, if you're still in high school just to keep things all in one place and it's easier 
Okay, next into like the nitty gritty. So first off, I have my calculator. So this isn't new, I've used this for a really long time. I have two different calculators. This one is just the Texas Instruments TI-30XA. I used this for a course I took in January. I took finite um, and that's what the, this is the requirement for that class. But I also have another calculator that I don't know if I'll bring. I'm not taking a math course my first semester but I always have this anyway. The other um, calculator that I have is for graphing and more complex equations. So this is really just as the basics, especially if you're in college and taking finite, that's the calculator you'll use. Um, but I have like three different calculators just from middle school and then this one and then a more complex one for graphing. Next up, I have literally my holy grail. I've used these all throughout middle school, high school, JK, pre-K, literally all my years. In school, these are the Bic pencils. The, they're number one selling mechanical pencils. I use mechanical pencils. I get the same ones every year. I'm also not one to lose my pencils. I always keep them. I don't, I, if I give them away to someone, I let them, or I like I have it back. I always have it back, but with now with the circumstances you can keep it um but this just comes with 26 and they come in multiple different colors of blue purple pink and green um they've always done a good job they don't break they last for a really long time um and it comes with a huge pack for not very expensive so i usually i'm gonna bring this whole one with me to iu it's just so different with college this year normally i'd keep a lot of my school supplies here but i'm bringing all my extra with me so I'll bring this whole pack. I don't obviously need to put all of these in my pencil pouch, but um, these are great pencils and I love these. Next up on the topic of pencils and pens is my pencil pouch. So this pencil pouch is from Anthropology. I want to say it was like 10 bucks, um, but it's just this mesh pencil pouch and it has a pink zipper and it's pretty small. I really like smaller pencil pouches just because they're easier to fit in your bag. Um, but the only thing I have in here besides um, the pencils I just showed you are pens and highlighters. So I'll just kind of show you which which ones I got. Um, I don't have the packaging for them, but I'm sure that you can still find them at Target or you guys already have them. Um, these two highlighters are mine. I didn't buy new highlighters. I probably should have, but I just have these two. They're just the Bic Bright Light highlighters in yellow and green. I know that there's some other really great highlighters, but I just had, I already had those. Um, the other pens I got, I want to say I got two different brands of pens. So I did. So I got the Bic pens, I want to say, did I? Yes, I did. <laughs> so I got these two different types of pens in a lot of different colors. So these are the Bic Papermate, um, just regular pens. They're ballpoint pens, so they're not as um, sharp. They're a little less thick. Um, but these come in a lot of different colors. They're pretty inexpensive. I know that professors in college and even in high school, a lot of teachers want you to submit work in black, blue, or red ink. So all of these packages come with one of those colors, but I also like my notes to be fun, so I always get the fun colored one as well. And then these ones um, are super popular that everyone uses. These are the Pilot G2 um, pens. I want to say these are Bic as well, but they come in all these different colors and they're sharp pointed um, tip pens, but they have a lot of ink and they come out really nicely and they make your notes and your assignments look a lot better. So it's just a personal preference, but I love these pens. I've used them for a very long time and they come in a big pack of different colors but they also include the black and the navy and red that you need for submitting assignments. Next up in here I have post-it notes. So like I said these are from Target. These are just regular post-it notes. I want to say um, these are the super sticky ones but it comes with orange, pink, and green. So this is what they look like. Um, some of the post-it notes were a little expensive so I just went with the cheaper ones that are these. Um, but I, when I tell you, I write literally all of my to-dos on post-it notes because I'll forget. Um, I use these all the time. These are literally my holy grail. And they come with, I want to say, there's 135 pieces in each, but there's only 45 individually. So I guess that's kind of enough. But I use these all the time and I really recommend these. They're really good to put in textbooks or in notebooks um, to set yourself reminders. Literally, you can hang them anywhere. If you needed to forget, put something on your door. These are awesome. So I definitely recommend sticky notes. 
All right, next, this is also kind of a personal preference because I use these all the time. These are just the little self-adhesive flags. I love to put in my notes where I left off, in books, in textbooks, literally wherever. So I've always used these, especially in classes where you take a lot of notes. I find these are very helpful so you don't have to flip through all your notes. You can just label these with a pen and then stick it in your notebook. So I definitely recommend these. Okay, next is a little miscellaneous. This kind of is more of a... I want to say this is more of a college, well, I guess anybody could use this, but it's just a lanyard. So um, I have an IU one obviously for IU, but um, this is really nice to just put your keys on or to put your, um, like a little slot for your cards. I know in high school you, you usually keep everything in your backpack, so it's not like you really need to carry one of these around unless you have a different school where these are necessary. I didn't in high school, but for college I think these are really nice because if you're just running somewhere really quick, you don't have, it's just kind of there. And if you have it peeking out of your bag or something, you can just grab it. So this is really nice, I recommend. I have like two or three of these. I've been gifted so many of these for my grad party. So um, I definitely recommend having a lanyard. And I said I didn't have any more sticky notes I lied. I just found these. These are just a fun pack of the blue and the green and the pink sticky notes. So just so we have extra. All right, so next we have index cards. So these are the ruled index cards. There's a hundred of them and it comes in different colors, which is kind of fun. There's blue, pink, green, purple, and yellow. Um, I find myself like, I really do like to do flashcards and stuff. It helps me. I know that there's other um, online apps that I also use. Quizlet, is that what it is? Quizlet. Um, but I also use these because they're tangible and I like writing my stuff down. It helps me remember. So just one pack of these usually helps. I usually don't end up using all of them. So I think that this is a great necessity just for college or high school. Okay, so this is a funny story. So I normally I don't get white out. I really don't use it that often. Like I didn't in high school, but I, I don't know. It always got annoying when I would mess up because I'd have to I'd have to cross it out with pen. And I'm one of those people that I really just want to white it out and then write right over it because I just don't like the messiness of crossing something out. So <laughs> I, I bought white out just to have, um, like I said, this is from Target. It's the foam brush. So I think it goes on a little bit better and then it dries and you can write right over it. So, bought the white out. Okay, next is gum. So I have two packs of gum here. I highly recommend gum for high school or college. Um, these are the Icebreakers Ice Cubes. So these are cubed gum, which I guess is personal preference. Both are good. And then this is just the Orbit Stick Gum. I kind of like the stick gum better. Um, but I feel like for high school, at least, I was always chewing gum based on my school's rules. And then for college, I feel like it'll be necessary. So definitely gum the last thing that i have for my back to school supplies haul is a charger so this is also applicable for high school or college this is a six foot cable lightning connector from target for my phone actually for really anything that has that port um i feel like for for me at least for college i'm gonna need a longer cord just for um like where my bed is located and it's nice to plug it into your computer and have but as additionally for high school it's nice to have one of these because i feel like in high school my phone or my ipad or my computer would always die so having a charger back on hand is always a really good idea okay you guys so that basically covers it for my back to school supplies haul i hope you guys enjoyed it was really fun to film i love school supply shopping i've always found it really fun and getting organized um but i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to comment like subscribe um follow my social medias down below and we can be friends i'll put it in the subscription bar but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time